Greetings, everyone. I am Pete Pardo from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day 26, pick 26 of albums that are 30 years old in 2024. We've been looking back on the great year of 1994 all month, 31 days in the month. We picked out our 31 favorites across all genres. Today for day 26, we're getting to the end of this whole run here. This is the 11th studio album from this American man. Released May 3rd, 1994. Recorded at uh, BR Ranch Studios in Jupiter, Florida. Produced by Tom Down for Sony slash Epic Records. I'm talking about where it all begins. By the Allman Brothers Band. That's right. This is like part two of their great comeback. Follows up seven turns. It's a mighty fine album. It's got the reunited lineup of Greg Allman on Hammond B3 organ, lead and backing vocals. Dickie Betts, lead and rhythm guitars, lead and backing vocals. J-Mo, drums, percussion, backing vocals. Butch Trucks, drums, percussion, backing vocals. Warren Haynes, lead, rhythm, slide guitar, lead and backing vocals. Alan Woody, bass, fretless bass, six-string bass, backing vocals. And Mark Quinones on congas and percussion. Killer album. You know, I've said this over and over and over again on the channel over the years. It's like, you know, the, the this, this second career that the Allman Brothers had, starting with the Seven Turns album right at the beginning of the 90s. That that whole, all that output that they that they released after with that album and after, all stellar, to me, holds up just as well when you stack it up against the early, early catalog, right? Those first, like, four or five albums. Great, great stuff. Great, great stuff. All right, so this album. All Night Train kicks it off. Really good hard-driving rocker. Man, this is, you know, at its core, this is just kind of southern blues rock. It's what this is. It's pretty rocking, too. This good mix of hard rock and blues all over this album. Sailing Across the Devil's Sea is terrific. Man, the interplay between Dickie and Warren. Top-notch. You know, if anybody could kind of step into the shoes of the late, great Dwayne Allman, it's Warren Haynes. Back Where It All Begins, Dickie Betts' song, Nine Minutes and Change. Very, very commercial, very poppy, but lots of cool guitar jamming on this one. Awesome song. Soul Shine is a great Warren Haynes song. So emotional, so awesome. What a chorus on that. No One to Run With. Another kind of, it's kind of funky, kind of, kind of hard rocking. Great single from the band. Change My Way of Living. Cool, kind of like um, bluesy country rock right there. Mean Woman Blues, another Dickie song, another great bluesy track. Everybody's Got a Mountain to Climb. Dickie wrote a lot of stuff on this album. Good song. What's Done is Done. It's a Greg and Allen song right there. Really, really good. And then, of course, Temptation is a Gun to finish it all off. Smoking guitar solos on there as well. Just I love the production of this album. Love the songs. Love the playing. Love the vocals. All good. Charts. U.S. Billboard charts, number 45. And this went on to sell gold here in the States. 500,000 units sold. Half a million copies. And as far as... Uh, uh, what else we got here? I don't think there's any other. I don't know if they've they are they you know this is a time this is the '90s uh, singles. They definitely played uh, "No One to Run With" on the radio. I'm not quite sure if that charted anywhere as a single, but uh, that and the title track and "Soul Shine" are probably the most kind of commercially appealing songs on the album. But there's all sorts of great blues and ripping ripping rock on here. Excellent, excellent album. Uh, Easily one of my favorites from the 90s from the band. They're all really strong. It's like you stack them all up against each other. They're all just good continuation from each other. Really, really good stuff. And again, the emergence of uh, Warren Haynes as one of the premier guitar players on the scene. And the old man Dickie still just cranking it out, ran, and just and Greg's vocals on the whole album just really, really good. That's what's so great about this album and a lot of these albums from this time period. You get, you know, both Greg. And Dickie singing really, really strong. You got Warren occasionally on lead vocals, and you got this great guitar playing, great Hammond organ, man, the, the percussion, the congas, just so vintage Allman Brothers band doing it all again, you know, all those 20 some odd years later, right? Awesome stuff. Where It All Begins, that's my pick today. Pick number 26. Let us know what you think of Where It All Begins by the Allman Brothers Band down in the comments below, as well as your pick for today, day 26. We'll see you tomorrow for 27. 
Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted to all of our content as a post. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below the links to our Ko-Fi page, our channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thanks in advance for all your support there. We'll see you tonight on In the Proxy. Till then, I am P. Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.